West Michigan teens are getting behind the wheel in a simulated experience, learning the dangers of distracted and impaired driving. It's made possible through an international program called the Save a Life Tour. Our Lauren Coomer was there this morning. We're here at Byron Center High School where students are getting a look of what it's like driving distracted or impaired through virtual reality goggles. Joined with me is Save a Life Tour presenter. CJ, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what students today through this presentation uh, for sure they'll be learning how to drive a car safely and what it looks like to drive ineffectively they'll be able to uh, operate a, a impaired sim we have here with a delayed reaction and if they can't coordinate with that delayed reaction soberly then they can't do the world so i'm going to get a, a a hop in the seat here and put these goggles on mm -hmm. and i'll have you kind of just instruct me and what kids will see here. So what I'm seeing on these goggles is what's being seen on the screen here. That is correct, yeah. Okay, yep. and so now if I start going. Yep, if you start going, you'll be able to see a image on there that'll say start. Okay. Right Hold there. Gas. Hold gas to start just like that. All right, here we go. And then you'll be able to drive. So whatever you're seeing in there, we can see out here in the screen so you can't hide. Okay. Yeah, so this is exactly There's... what I'm seeing. I see a red light coming up here. Yeah, and you get, yeah, stop for the red light. Now, it's mm -hmm. hard. It's very impeding. That delayed reaction is very impeding. It so is, yeah. It makes you want to look straight ahead, too, at the same time. So you have tunnel vision. incorporates tunnel vision very well. And you Got see it. that from a sober perspective. Ooh. That's very so important. So I'm crossing the line here, and, and that, yep. Yep. there's yep. some exactly. resistance with this, this wheel. I'm, I'm understanding. There is heavy resistance, yes, there we definitely. Go. I'm taking a turn. Now, oh. it has perfect alignment, okay, because yeah. it's a sim. It's never been on the road. So if you okay. do swerve left and right, Woo. it's all you not coordinating with that oh. delayed reaction. There we go. Okay. And they put so much effort into that too. It's, yeah. it's really hard to kind of. We've got a clear road ahead at least. Mm -hmm. Now some crosswalks. So if I look left and right, I yeah. can kind of see. You can see. You look in your back seat. Look back seat. You got a kid in the back seat, right? Oh, oh wow. No. <laughs> oh, red light. So oh. you got everything. All right. You're just immersed in the world. <laughs> and so now we have some vehicles next to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And if I were to go, so I'm yeah. going to turn on my signal here, right? Signal, yep, oh, wrong behind side. the wheel. Yep, there's a turning signal, yep. There the we shifters go. and the paddle Ooh. shifters. Oh, that's difficult. And oh, it's here one, I go. It's one revolution, too. It's, it's hard to... There you go. And it's too Ooh. much. And it gets worse and worse. So it's like drinking and driving. Yeah, but that's we don't, very difficult. We don't, we don't just say drinking and driving. We say right. impaired because impaired. it's across the board. Understandable. Okay. And now there's one more um, simulator that they're learning about over here, and that's distraction. So that's yeah. cell phones. And will you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure, definitely. So they're going to hold a cell phone while they're trying to go down the street. Uh, it's just normal driving, okay? So they're just applying pressure to the gas pedal. They're holding on to this device right here. And this is generating messages to the student or whomever is in the seat. And they're coordinating with this, holding the little white bar down, reading and trying to also drive at the same time. And we're trying to give them a real life perspective yeah. of what it looks like to actually maintain that ability, which is impossible. So, because yeah. I always talk about, like you heard me, cognitive visual manual. It's a yeah. big thing. Cognitive is that mental approach, visual and manual. Holding onto the wheel, you know, thinking about it, looking at a cell phone, you're thinking about it, holding on to it, and looking at it. Yeah. And you can't do two at the same time because you have one manual, one visual, and one cognitive. Well, thank you so much. All great information to teach high schoolers. There's about 900 high schoolers by the end of the year here at Byron Center High School who will be able to drive. So all good luck. For now, reporting in Byron Township, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.